Okay, so welcome back. If you're if you're watching this one, you're in for a treat. And when I mean treat, I mean not a treat, because well, crap. I really don't know if I'm gonna be able to get through this, but I'll try my damnedest. After er, I get through this train, you'll see just how much anomalies are in here. Yeah. But the thing is, what's daunting, or not daunting about this, ooh, look, that is actually a stash. Yes, you can get stashes in this, in this tunnel. But what you're, this game, th this tunnel is actually beatable. You just have to, well, it looks like there's anomalies everywhere, but the only anomalies that really count are these ones. You can see the kind of heat distortion ripple ab around them. Now those ones do count. And you kind of can look around and see. Bad. Okay, so go this way. Okay, that's not a good way. That's not a good way. That's not a good way. Okay, good. Okay, so hurt a little bit. I'm gonna heal up, because we got enough bandages. Oh yeah, we're good. So that was arguably the easy part of this. The hard part is, well, this part. Yeah, you can you get radiation poison because you just crossed the boundary. And you die from that, so use that, and your radiation disappears because you're not going to be constantly bombarded. It's, it's a it's a thin line that if you cross, you get instantly irradiated. You get all the way up to the red. But anyways, now that we're past that, congratulations. Who did we find? Who's this guy? Vitala Spaghetti. Vitalik Spaghetti. And what does he have? Viper 5 9 by 18 This is awesome because, as you can see, we have a lot of 9 by 18 millimeter rounds. Light, compact, and now redone to fit a more widespread caliber. This machine gun is a true find for beginning shooters. Yeah, it really is. It's because our pistol fires the same rounds. So, it's pretty... Also, it has, I believe, the exact same model as the Viper 5. Yeah, it has the exact same model as the Viper 5. The only thing different is the... is the icon. Looks a little bit different. But anyways, now that we have that, we're going to get out of here. Just a little bit of zigzagging. Alright, good. And, hey, I don't think we got irradiated that time, or we haven't reached it yet. Oh, how do we get through this one? Through this? Yeah, close enough. And, we are out of the tunnel, and we have a new weapon. Awesome. Awesome, 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 awesome. And as you can see, it's actually getting pretty... It's, it's getting past dusk. So... Hmm. It's gonna be interesting. So we're gonna go to the Agripom Research now. Because we have our new gun. And since it has a pretty wide range of ammo and whatnot that you can find pretty much from a lot of the starting, um, a lot of the uh, bandits that you kill, it's pretty good to hold on to it for a long time because I'm pretty sure it has, yeah, it's got pretty, it's in pretty good condition. You know, it's not perfect and whatnot, but for beginners, for 
uh, beginning of a beginner shooter, it's really kind of good to hold on to it if you didn't get if you didn't cheat at the military outpost and got some AKs and whatnot for your trouble. Um, but yeah, that's it's a lot. It's I believe it has the exact same damage as the as the Viper Five. It just has a uh, uh, fires a different round. Well, a more uh, common round. So anyways, I'm going to stop this, and we're going to go to the Agriprom research. Hooray! Anyways, hope you enjoyed the video, and see you next time.